All right, what's good with y'all, man? This is my second tutorial video on how I convert, you know, frequencies. In this video, I'm gonna actually show y'all how I actually transition from one frequency to another. You know what I'm saying? Like how I be saying in my titles, like 247 hertz and 494 hertz. You know, that's just me transitioning from one frequency to another in the same song, right? So in case y'all haven't watched the first tutorial video, I highly suggest you do because if you don't, you're gonna be lost in this one. You know, you won't know what the hell I'm doing. You know what I'm saying? You're not. But before I even get into how I transition from one frequency to another, uh, I actually want to address uh, real quick that once you actually get done converting on this right here, Audacity, you just want to go up to File, want to go to Export, and I usually go to Wave go to wave and I usually do 30, 32 bit float, you know what I'm saying? 48,000 Hertz. Highly suggest you don't do 44,100 Hertz. If you're going to post on YouTube, at least put on 48,000. I think that's a little better, a little better as far as like the frequency itself and all that stuff. But, uh, like I said, in other video, I'll make a video about that more about that you feel me but yeah that's what i do so once you actually get the frequencies here's the important part right the important part is every frequency has a tempo as i said in the other video so what you so like um if you have two frequencies that don't have the same tempo then it's not going to transition from one frequency to another very very fluent you feel me so like it's very important that you actually do that you get two frequencies that have the same tempo unless you just don't change the tempo and you just change the frequency which would be fine as well but i highly suggest that you change the tempo because that's you get the full effects of the the actual frequency you feel me so I'm doing a young boy song. Y'all gonna see this up uh, probably this morning. You feel me? So, uh, I'm doing beam effect. You feel me? I did it in 512 hertz. Right? I just put 512 hertz just so I can, you know what I'm saying? And 128 hertz. You know what I'm saying? These two frequencies have the, uh, what you call it, the same tempo. But let me backtrack a little bit. Um, actually, the application that I'm using for when I do this is actually called FL Studio. FL Studio, I actually learned how to do it like, uh, been learning how to use it for like two, three years now, right? And I use FL Studio because I feel like it's easier for me to actually transition from one frequency to another. And also to tell you, um, this is also a free application to, to use um, the the, uh, the free trial, you know what I'm saying? And once you get, the, you can do the same exact thing that I'm doing with the free trial version. But if you do decide to buy it, um, um, don't worry about that. Just use the free trial version. Just use that, because you're probably not, a lot of y'all probably not gonna make songs and stuff, but anyway, let's get back to it, right? Now, you drag the two files that you got from Audacity and put it here in FL Studio, right? And right here, before you even like, go into like listening and then trying to find the transitions and stuff, uh, up here, like I clicked, I clicked up here, you know what I'm saying? This is where you change the overall. It's like another layer of a, a frequency, you know. It's like a, it's like it's a little hard to explain, but just know it's another layer. Because the thing is, you can put the files into this this application and still hear the frequency, but yet you can still hear a layer of another layer of it, and you can hear this 440 hertz. So you want to make sure that. Um, it's the um 
matching the same frequency as the, you know what I'm saying? That's the frequencies in this in these files. So let me do that. You know what I'm saying? This is the A4 note for 128 hertz and 5, 12 hertz. So I'll put that in there. All right. And I usually take this off because you don't need it. You don't need that. But what I do, is I usually start from the top some. I listen to it. And let's say I want to transition from right here, right? I do this. I, I click on this right here, right? So I can, like, cut it. I cut it. You know what I'm saying? Then I cut it down so it can match. And then I go to this right here, little speaker thing with the X. Then I cancel uh, this out. And then I highlight, you know, I click on this. So this is what it'll sound like. And then you hear a simple transition to the other frequency, right? And that's what I do throughout the whole time. Whenever I feel like there should be a transition, you know what I'm saying? I just do a simple transition. And also, when I get done with all the transitions and stuff with the song, Sometimes I'll add an AD audio, or some people would call it a reverb. I call it AD because I think it sounded, mine, I feel like it sounded a little different. So what I do is I'll go to the master track right here, you know what I'm saying? Go to the master track, because that's what's gonna change everything, you know what I'm saying? Then I go right here, slot, and then I go to reverb, reverb two, for the reverb two, right? And you can use the default, but it depends. For me, I, sometimes I use the default depending on how the song is. So let's see what it sounds like. If not, I have a preset AD audio. And then I decide from which one of those two sound the best, and I just roll with it. You know what I'm saying? But once you get done with all that, if you don't want to, uh, an AD audio or nothing like that, then it's cool, obviously. But if you just want the simple things, uh, you just go ahead and go to file, you go to export, you go to wave. I always, I always export it in wave file because that's the best quality one. You know what I'm saying? You go to wave. Then I type in, you know, the song or whatever. You know what I'm saying? And then press save. And then right here, all right, this is what I have. I always make sure it's a 32 bit flow because, you know what I'm saying? That's the highest quality. Uh, always make sure it's the highest resampling. You know what I'm saying? Oh, um, make sure all uh, these are highlighted. You know, you could just copy this. This is what I use right here just for quality reasons and then you could just simply press start and then it'll export it and then let you know when it's done but um i wanted to make this video real quick just to show y'all how i actually transition frequency to frequency i know a lot of people don't know how to actually do that um i feel like this is probably like a simple way to do that and it's free you don't gotta you know what I'm saying? Do all the extra stuff. Now, you can't... I feel like you can do it here on Audacity. You feel me? But, like, uh, I don't... It's it's a little tricky. If anybody actually knows how to do it, let me know. You know what I'm saying? It, you know what I'm saying? I like to know. But, usually, I go here because I feel like it's a lot smoother to do. Um, I don't have a lot of problems or nothing. And... I just been rolling with this so i'm gonna be coming out with more tutorial videos on how i actually do things so y'all know so maybe y'all you know want to do it or just want to simply know what i do if you have any questions make sure you leave it in the comments below um obviously read the description or anything like that before leaving a question because 
you know what I'm saying? Just read. I want people to read before you just start asking questions. But other than that, man, I enjoy. I said enjoy. I appreciate everybody uh, tuning in what I do, um, what I post, what I represent. I love y'all. Got y'all next time, bro. Peace.